Hey everybody, it's Brad and Krista for the Big Family Homestead, and tomorrow is a very big day. Oh, I know I'm gonna overflow. How's your jug? Is your jug okay? It's, it's full. Your jug is overflowing. Um, yeah, tomorrow we're building a barn, mm -hmm. so we've got to get a lot of preparations done, and today is the day, and we've already hit some snags. Yeah. Okay, bunch of fruit on the counter. Why? Because tomorrow. If everything goes well, we're building a barn. That's right. And we've got some friends coming over, and uh, hopefully we have enough goodies for them so that nobody gets, you know, too hot, too yucky. Right. It's supposed to be a nice day tomorrow, not very hot, but, you know, working outside in the sun is, we definitely need to have some sort of replenishment. Well, good natural sugars, too. Yes. So we got a bunch of watermelon, we got some pineapple. Yep. Oh, and Mama's favorites here. Now, these are Mama's favorites. She doesn't generally like the regular cherries, but for whatever reason, she loves these Rainier cherries. And so we'll make sure that you have plenty of good sugars. Yeah, um, I'm thinking the kids are going to take over. Anytime they find that I have a, a yummy fruit or something, they... Uh, this one was already in them. I had to shoot her out. Yes. You gotta wait until tomorrow. That's right. And we can't forget, uh, Ryan and Amanda's mom brought over some raspberries. Uh, so these are, she picked these last evening. So we're gonna wash these up and these are, these are actually really delicious. We're gonna have to make some cobbler tonight though, just Something. to test it out, just so we make sure it's not poison. Right, not, mm, no, no poison not, cobbler. No, no. Oh, yeah. Where should I put these in the dress freezer? Ice, ice, Caleb. Doom, 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 doom. But that's, that's not copyright infringement because he went doom, 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 Ice, ice, Caleb. And we have a special mission, Caleb. Here's the scoop, my friend. We are going to build our own tarp tent. Yeah, Krista and I went to go buy one of those like canopy things, you know, where so that we can get out of the sun if we need to get out of the sun. But they only had like the smallest, like it was a nine by six, was it? Six by four. It was six by four. Like what? The, what do that's you even do with that? Even, that's not big enough to cover the picnic table. And that was all they had, like yeah. zero. Yeah, they had it's a like screen their... tent, but that wasn't. No. no. Yeah. So I've got this idea that you and I are gonna go out in the woods, we're gonna get some poles, and we're gonna make our own. Okay. Yahtzee? Yeah. Yahtzee. Okay, just a simple, simple idea. We already had the tarp because we had to buy it to cover some wood, um, and so we're just gonna use it temporarily since it didn't rain, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get some poles and tarp off the side of this chicken shed, hook it in, hopefully make some kind of thing that doesn't blow away or catch like a, a sail in the wind because it was that that would make all kinds of silliness on a day we got a lot of work to do okay so first things first we got an old boat that we uh, got when we moved to Wisconsin but it's in the way and it's gonna be directly in the way of where we're working our she blows so we got to get that out of here then we can start our tent thingy mabobber It's gonna sit for now, uh, just to try to keep it out of the way. Maybe the pigs can take it, you know, jet skiing, water skiing, maybe they can do the little pigs on a, whatever. We'll probably turn that thing into a massive slip and slide when we're done, but don't tell him that yet. All right, now we're on a mission to find some poles that we can use to prop that tent up. Maybe six foot, eight foot, doesn't really matter. But we'll try and find something dead. But if we can't find something dead, we'll find something small. All right, Caleb, I think we found a winner here. Let's just drag it out of here because the mosquitoes are ridiculous and then we'll chop it up when we get out there instead of trying to fight these mosquitoes, okay? Okay. All right, let's do this. My hands are so sappy. Sappy, sapparoo. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's measure it out. 
Uh, six or eight feet, no big deal. It's not really rocket science. We're just trying to make a little tent. Where are we at? Eight feet right here. Okay, excellent. That looks kind of short to me, don't you think? Nope, it won't when, you, when we stand it up. Think it's tall now? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty tall. can't see mama because she's right behind that tripod there she is but we need a little more help when we actually go to put it up uh, so that so that it doesn't come crashing down before we can tie it off and use the tent stakes and all that so hopefully this will not be a humor video and hopefully it'll just be victory okay so we still gotta get some holes in the ground just to keep those things from going too far then we're gonna treat it like a tent we're gonna put out you know the I guess you would call them anchors, rope anchors, rankers. I hate digging. Okay, so here it is in all its glory. Um, not really very glorious, but I'm hoping that if it makes it through the night, because it's been super windy, if it makes it through the night, I think we'll be okay. Um, I mean, it's just a basic shelter, so hopefully it stays there and we don't have any issues. Oh boy, I love a carnival. You guys have done a great job. Yeah, we got four pounds of strawberries, an entire watermelon, mm -hmm. two cantaloupes, two pineapples, uh, cherries. I think that's all the fruit. Chicken salad. Chicken salad, I'll make that in a little bit. This um, is great. Yeah. And I got a package today. Oh, did you? I did, Ooh. and it's from the barn geek. Ooh, is it a barn? It is not a barn. Oh. It's uh, much more up my alley. Ah, I see. Alrighty, folks. Something that I've been waiting for for a very long time. Been excited about it. We have we have a friend who is a very gifted um, designer, builder, refurbisher of barns. He has a YouTube channel called The Barn Geek. And his name is Aaron, and he's a friend of mine, and I knew he he knew everything about barns, and you should go over and check out his channel, because he's amazing. I mean, and, and then the, uh, I think it's .com, um, the barngeek.com. You can Google it, or I'll try and find something and put it down below. But if you're interested in his designs, because they're amazing. And we knew that about him, but I didn't know that he uh, started building as a hobby what are called cigar box guitars. Now... If you've never seen one, you're getting ready to see one, but it's strung a little bit differently than a guitar, but, well, they're a little different. So he built one and this is it. This is it. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna open this sucker up and show you guys. Boy, boy, he likes his tape. See that? He loves his tape. So here we go. Yahtzee. All right. Oh man. Oh man, <sighs> this box is loaded with styrofoam and you know how Superman has, has got the kryptonite thing where they just don't, styrofoam is my kryptonite. You guys probably all have one, like nails on a chalkboard or, or whatever. Comment down below, what's your, what's your kryptonite? But this stuff, it makes my ears, I can hear it like squeak and um, There's a lot of it too. I mean, look. I'm going in though. I'm gonna brave it. Oh, what's this? What is this? Comfrey roots. Oh, look at that. Aaron, you're a rock star. Comfrey roots. I'm like, what is this big bag of like wet sawdust? It's, uh, oh yes, thank you, this is gonna be awesome. Let's get this sucker open, oh man. Oh, I gotta bring it up here. Okay, carefully, carefully. All right, let me hold on to this, get this out of here. Oh, evil, evil stuff. 
Man, he likes his packing tape. No doubt. <laughs> Here we go. Aaron, you must have probably spent like $30 on packing bubble wrap. Look at this. This is cool. Okay, guys, this is this is really, really neat. Look at this. Check this out. Look at that. It's a cigar box guitar. Look at that. That's super cool. All right. And look at that. Congrats, Papa Brad, Barn Geek. Look at that. And it's electric, too. You can actually plug it in and play it um, as, a, as an electric instrument. It's a little Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> oh, man. This is cool. I'm going to have to learn how to play this now. Now it's on. Look, there's even a, a nickel right in there. This is super cool, my friend. I'm going to learn how to play it, and we'll write a song, and it'll be in your honor. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Dang on. <laughs> Tired again. <laughs> Just running, getting these yeah. little things done. Putting that silly tent up was a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. Yes, but it saved us a ton of money. It did. You know, because we used what we had. We only bought a tarp. Um, which and we had to get anyway. Broke, right, which we needed anyway. Yeah. So we can reuse that tarp later on in, in, for something else. And the rope. It cost us less than $20 for all of that. Which it was going to be 168 yeah. if you got a good one. Right. Which they didn't even have at that Walmart. We would have had to go somewhere else. Right. So hopefully... If it lasts the night. If it's there in the morning, we're good for the we day. We should be all right. <laughs> and then we'll put everything back. Yeah. And another humongous thank you to the Barn Geek people. Go check out his channel with that cigar box guitar. It's going to be a lot of fun. I, I'm going to have to I really, I'm going to have to bend my brain not to think like a guitar player, mm -hmm. but like a mandolin player. Because mm -hmm. that's how the tuning goes. Nice. Uh, nice. But thank you, thank you, thank you. And, um, I guess I got to get learning. So that's it for the day. I'm, I'm not going to learn anything today. No, no, we're done for today. We got a lot of learning to do tomorrow. Thank heavens. All right. So I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have a blessed day. If you only had one shot, would you lose yourself in the music in the moment? Mom spaghetti.